Hey everybody, I'm Mary, and this is my Simple Cottage Life. So there's my kitties out there on their patio, safe and sound. There's my ginger. There's little Georgie in the Texas chair. And on that little uh, rattan table, it's little LG. And Mama Ma is down here on that bench. Now, earlier, Smokey was out under this baby's breath, or bridal wreath, I think it is. And also, oh, there's Mama over there. Okay. Now, earlier this morning, Biggie Boy was out here, and I came out. And I put their food out. You see some here. Look at my boy. Look at my boy. Come to see his mama. I love him. I love. They are so precious. Anyway, Biggie Boy was right down at the end of the stairs when I came out. And of course, Mama Ma and my ginger and those two booger bears, they all came up to eat their food. And Biggie Boy was sitting right down there. Now, he didn't run. He didn't run this time, y'all. He sat right there. And I said, it's okay. It's okay. You can come and have your breakfast. Yes, love, looking at Mama upside down. <laughs> you can come and have your breakfast it's okay and I try to be real soft you know not like my usual booming voice I have out here that scares the heck out of them sometimes it does it scares me and he didn't run and so I went back in the house and up he came he came up the steps and he was eating his breakfast along with everybody else out here y'all now He's not super friendly yet because he won't let me, I'm not able to touch him. And if I make a step toward him, he will either jump back or he'll run up under the fence. He, he, won't, he won't sit down here and let me come get him. Not at all. Jen Jen, what are you doing, my loving dove? What are you doing, mama's baby sweetheart? I love, oh gosh, I love. So let me tell you. He's still wary of me. He still doesn't know what to do, but he's learning. And he's learning that I'm not gonna hurt him. And he's learning that I will provide him with food and I won't hurt him. But it's gonna take a long time, I fear, for him to get used to me to where I'll ever be able to touch him, if, if at all. And I don't blame him, y'all. I don't blame him. I mean, you know, I told you. 
he got hit in the head with a rock. A neighbor threw a rock and hit him in the head. And I, I, I was mad. Oh, I had a fit. I just had a fit. I do not believe in being cruel to animals. And let me tell you, I was hit in the, in the head with a rock when I was about 10 years old by a little mean kid that was across the street from me that just came and threw a rock and hit me in the head and knocked me down. And uh, that, that's bad to, to do that to anybody. Hello, you love doll. <laughs> What do you want me to do? Well, I go, I put some um, cat catnip out here. And Ginger, <laughs> Ginger's on the nip, I'm telling you. He, he, uh, he loves catnip. Yes, he does. He better not nobody ever hit this baby in the head or that, any of my babies ever again. Okay, you want to see something cute? Look at this. Now, y'all, they were born at the same time. Um, Mom and my had these last two, and they'll be a year old in May. Isn't that something? A year old already. They're still small kitties, but they're, but they're growing. Isn't that sweet? Now, oh, look at the babies. Oh, there's my babies. And there's a big brother there. Yep, yep. My ginger's a sweetheart. He loves his mama so much, it's ridiculous. Mama's out here in my pajamas. I just had my shower. I had my shower and washed my hair. And I said, if I would come out and see you. I want to see you. I know you're a hungry baby. No. You got food everywhere. Anyway, oh, I see Mama across the fence now. She's fixing to, there, see her? Did y'all see her? She came right up up that tree and just jumped right over that fence. Here she comes. Mama, Mama. Hey, Mama, Mama. Come on. She's gotten to where she's kind of friendly too, y'all. She wants me to pet her. Yeah, she comes up to me and rubs on me and wants me to pet her. And then, but you know, sometimes she's kind of grouchy. Cause she wanted me to pet her the other day, and I petted her, and then a few minutes later she was hissing at me. So I never know what to do. I've got some finicky cats around here. Yep, I feed them. I give them a place out, keep them out of the cold and out of the rain. And what do they do? They hiss at me. Jin Jin. Anyway, so Biggie Boy is welcome. He is welcome here if he wants to come here and live and sit out on this patio. And yesterday he was out on the patio pretty much all day long. And then when I come out, he goes out by that big tree. That big tree is, think about it, it's, it's, uh, it's a wonderful escape route, isn't it? I mean, you can go up the tree, go behind the tree. I tell you, I could stand here and love on these babies all day long. I could. Anyway, so this was supposed to be about Biggie Boy, and I got all. I see. Oh, that's the other cat. See him out there? There. That's the calico. I feed her on the front porch because she is not nice to anybody out here. She is not nice. She she is not even tries to be nice to anybody. She's a uppity, uppity. Therefore, she doesn't have a name yet. 
because I mean when you name something you can't it's just a grouch anyway I'm gonna keep trying with biggie boy maybe at least he doesn't run now at least he knows I'm not gonna hurt him and that's a whole I really care about he doesn't have to be my pal but uh, just so he knows he's got a safe place and that's what this is for them this is their safe place I love it out here y'all I love it 